Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Adam from Port City Church, and this is your Saturday Devo. And uh, I'm going to continue to pick up from where we left off last week in Matthew chapter 23, where Jesus is speaking to his followers, and he's talking about the, the Pharisees or the religious leaders. And so I'm going to read the scripture again to remind us uh, what he's talking about here. It says that, Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of religious law and the Pharisees, are the official interpreters of the law of Moses. So practice and obey whatever they tell you, but don't follow their example. For they don't practice what they teach. They crush people with unbearable religious demands and never lift a finger to ease the burden. Uh, that in itself is a powerful scripture and says a lot about who they were. But then he goes on to say, everything they do is for show. Ouch, right? And on their arms, they wear extra wide prayer boxes with scripture verses inside and they wear robes with extra long tassels. I wanna focus on verse six today and it says, and they love to sit at the head tables at banquets and in the seats of honor in the synagogues. And and that's just a powerful verse for me because um, you know I think that in our lives we can get so caught up with being that person who is sitting at the front, being that person who who wants to have the limelight or at least the recognition for what they're doing. And you know, sometimes uh, we can get caught up with that and we think that nobody else is seeing what we're doing and we can even get depressed or, or discouraged because we're not receiving the accolades that we think we deserve. But the truth of the matter is, is quite often what Jesus is asking from us is to serve out of a heart that pleases him and that he sees everything that we do. And so it's interesting, in, uh, you know, to have a successful life in the world's eyes, it's all the accolades. It's, it's being put in, in places of honor. And that's what the religious leaders were uh, thriving on. And they were liking that. They were enjoying it. In fact, they were expecting it in their lives. But Jesus says, if you're going to follow me, you may never get that. But I will see what you're doing. And that's a different kind of philosophy altogether. That's a different way of living our lives. And I know that uh, in my own life, I can get caught up with that. I can walk into a room and I can say, hey, don't these people know who I am? Don't they know my position? And, and they should ask me to come up front or they should ask me what I think about it. And, and I'm, I catch myself sometimes and I'm thinking, Lord, that's not how I want to be. I want to just come into a room and I want to be able to serve people. And if that's what you want from me, then Lord, let me be like you. Help me to be more like you. Jesus stepped out of deity and into human flesh, and he came to serve us. And if it's good enough for him, shouldn't it be good enough for us? And so I want to encourage you here. Let's not just talk about what we know and live differently. Let's talk about what we know, but let's also live it out. And living it out means that there are some times and there are places in our lives where we believe we need the accolades or, or we deserve the accolades, but in, in, true, in truth, God is saying, look, I want you to come into this room and I want you to be unrecognizable. I want you to uh, drift away from the acknowledgement that you think you deserve and begin to serve people. And I think that's the heart of God. That's the heart of Jesus. So I want to encourage you with that this morning. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you tomorrow in service at 1030. And uh, we have communion uh, service coming. And so that's going to be a wonderful thing. So thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.